So today I'm wanting to build a nice little fence for my backyard. This model isn't to scale, it's just a little doodle I made. But I think that this could actually be pretty handy. We can have a bunch of shovels and stuff on this side, and on the inside we can have a lot of other junk hanging up, and it'll do a good job of hiding my work area from the view of the road. So yeah, here is the location that we're going to be building that little fence. And in the previous video I tore down my new shed. Because I just decided that I didn't want to have storage here. I wanted to open it up to have one big work area. And I also want to be able to hang all my garden implements and stuff like that. Like pickaxes and shovels and whatnot. And have a nice fence going that way. Because I would like to, I'd like to just get the fence working over to here for now. But then we can continue the fence maybe a little bit higher than these pallets but it'll look a lot nicer going back to the woods and then later on I can put down bricks to pave this and make this a nice like workshop floor so it'll be kind of a private workshop where people won't get angry that I have too much junk or something like that because my job is junk building things yeah so right now I'm just spending time removing those green little spike things out of the ground and that's proving to be pretty easy then we're going to have to dig two holes for me and my mom to put the 4x4s into the ground. Then the middle 4x4, we have a bracket that can bolt onto the concrete. And that should be pretty sturdy. I have the fourth one just dug in the ground here. I know it may not look like much, but I've actually used this tool for years. And this is actually the tool that I used to dig my deepest hole ever, about 15 feet. I used to hook 2x4s to the end of this and just extend it. And then what I do is I just I grab under this little these handlebars and just walk around and dig in the ground. It's actually worked pretty well. I like it better than a um, post hole digger just because it's not so up and down and hurting your back as much. So yeah, I don't, I don't think I've ever used this on my channel before. So the one good thing about post hole diggers is that they can get through roots, whereas this auger has issues with that. But I wonder if I can modify it sometime to have teeth around the outside so it doesn't get caught up on, on these because it might cut through them better. I don't know. So it looks like it's about half a meter deep now, and that's that's pretty good. It's pretty much what we're wanting. It's also kind of neat that as the the lower you go and the more clay you you get, the more like perfect the rings come out. So I'd like for the two x four to sit in this groove right here. So I'm just going to start knocking this in there. Oh my God, guys! Angle iron. Angle iron. This is the best idea I've had all week. Ah, it's perfect. Perfectly square. Well, mostly at least. It's good enough square. Now I'll just remove some of the remaining stuff that I pushed down in the hole. And that should be all. What's your opinion of that, Mike? I think that's pretty good. Does it have to be touching the concrete or can no. it? No. Okay, that, cool. We'll just want to make it level, but... Yeah. Yeah, that... So, here, let, let's pull it back up and let's put the brick underneath it. Well, I think you, you can... Yeah. So now let's start on this other one. So we have the hole down to about, I'd say, two feet or so. And you can see there's a piece of concrete right there. And there's actually, we're cutting back into some dirt. So we went from dirt to clay to dirt. And it looks like we should hit clay underneath that. We're actually hitting the natural floor of this side of the hill that we're on. Because I believe sometime in the 1900s, this land was built up so it's more level. And so somebody must have gotten some clay and dirt 
and filled in this side of the hill. Maybe someday I should dig down and see if there's anything hidden underneath there, because, well, I don't know, this house was built around 1912 or so, and this might have been filled in around then, so anything below then should be like a time capsule of pre-1912, you know? And I'm also very curious about this pipe, because it used to stick up pretty high, and it had a fitting like a gas line, and I snapped that off because it was just, just an old rusty pipe and it was a tripping hazard. But I'm curious where that goes, so I think I'm going to finally yank on that and maybe dig down a little bit. I really hope that this is not a septic tank down here, like an old concrete one. I do worry a little bit about anything that might be hidden underneath the yard, because I would really hate to be mowing the lawn and then the septic tank cave in and eat my riding lawnmower. That would not be a good time, it just it would be, ugh, no. Oh, it might just be a random pipe. They must have used it for something to hold something up then, I guess. Oh, it looks like one of those nice lighter colored bricks. It might be a good enough one to put in my collection, because I tend to like to collect... Well, by collect, I mean use them on the ground. It looks like an Evans and Howard, like sitting that way. I really like, I'm, I'm a fan of bricks with with names on them because they're just they're really cool. Oh. Looks like it's a Walsh. So it is a Walsh, just like, I'd say two thirds of the, of the brick. I was thinking it was an Evans and Howard. It's very similar, very similar indeed. Let's see if I have some Walshes in my collection over here. I particularly like the light yellow colored bricks. Okay, Walsh. Looks like I have one. Oh! Three now. Uh -huh, perfect. So it looks like we should move that side up, because we don't want to keep moving it down lower and lower. Right. It'd be nice just to push this up and then I can put dirt around it to make sure it doesn't freeze down that low. Drop it. Yeah, good enough. Good enough for a fence. What the fuck? Look okay? Yeah, it's good right there. Nice. Yeah, my me measure the concrete. better for the roof to be level anyway. Oh yeah, that is not level at all. No, no wonder the measurements are off. So, what next? Oh, we're kind of getting to the point where moving on to your expertise and I think I'll just make another hole and then that'll be mostly your I think, work. I think that's a good idea. We'll make the last post and then put a 2x4 across this one. Across okay. this one. Maybe you get this one here. Well, I'm thinking we can go, we can go and start working on this one. While I'm digging the other hole. I'm not sure that we're even going to need a post here. Okay. I mean, I don't think it, we will. It might give us another post to use for something later. Yeah, yeah. Whoa, big spider. Holy shit. That is a big spider. And he's camouflaged completely on that brick. Okay. I'd rather you not be here on my... Goodbye, spider. Yeah, I sent me where you take a jigsaw, which I have, and we'll just level them off if you want to later. Yeah, yeah. Right before we get a rope or whatever. I'm down a foot and I'm still in dry, bone dry soil. This is so weird. Looks very nice, my. But you did all that while I had a hard time digging a single hole. Mm -hmm. Looks like it was hard clay or something. I don't know. I just, it's really dry here. Yeah. It's so weird. I, I, I didn't I didn't think that having the shed over this area would allow it to dry out that much. Well, let's put the last last four before, and then you can go to your D and D game. You want to put the eight footer in here? 
Yeah. I think that'd be a better idea. The level. Whoa, this is solid. Yeah, it's solid as a rock. No wonder I couldn't dig through this. Yeah. That's good enough. What do you think? Okay. Whoops, but oh well. I am really happy with how this went. Looks really nice. Although this could use a bit more reinforcement. So, I think it's about time to hook this in. I found this little adapter to allow one to hook a 4x4 onto concrete. And I've already started drawing a hole. Ten centimeters. Look at that. I'm so happy about that. That was pretty fun. So I picked up this bolt. It is five eighths of an inch because I believe that the the one half inch bit that I used resulted in a bigger than a half inch hole. So we can try this one. And if I'm an idiot and I chip off this concrete, whatever. We'll just not have a post here. Looks like we just go through there. Like that. That's pretty straightforward. going okay. I found these little washers from my old bench grinder so I think that'll be a good enough job of fixing that little like two millimeters of space that I had left. <laughs> wow that is snug. I'm actually pretty happy with that. Now it's time to put this onto here and then we can remove this piece of wood so I can screw into it. So what you think? I love it. Very nice. So I added these little nails yeah. or screws at the bottom to help it so, yeah. so wind won't blow them around. So what I do is like make a, a little outline of which goes where. No, that's fine. Yeah. I think I'm pretty much done. Yeah. So how hard was this thing? Uh, it wasn't too hard. I had to move it in and out. It um. By wrenching it down, it carved yeah. out a lot more concrete, so I had to undo it and blow a bunch of concrete out. I just wonder, why did they have that thing on it? What thing? The little stand that it sits on. Just because the bolt comes up really high. Oh, I see. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. Well, I think that's pretty much it for this video. That's awesome. Want to go do the next one where we find a bunch of fire bricks? Yeah. Okay, cool. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching. See ya!